Hey, Grace Quotes, I want to just take a minute to talk about the church. Um, quite often in the Bible, it's compared to a body, a human body. The human body is a remarkable machine, and, and, and so is the church. It's a wonderful metaphor uh, because just as God created the human body in such uniqueness, he's created his church in the same way. We are uh, a body. The church is the body. The church is the body of Christ, um, conceived by Christ, bought with his blood, protected by Christ, promised by Christ that we will endure. Uh, so I just want you to think of four quick thoughts with me right now. Just as the human body needs to be built up and needs to be nurtured, and as the human body grows, uh, a good church also should be growing as well. Uh, it should be unified. It should be growing into maturity. It should be coming more, becoming more Christ-like. Uh, there should be a, a dependency that we have on one another as we are all working together and, and feeding off the Word of God and, and maturing and, and becoming more holy and becoming more godly and, and as a church becoming more effective in the service to Christ. Uh, second thing to think about is as a body has um, connecting ligaments that hold bone to bone, uh, Paul talks about that in Ephesians 4, that in a sense we are connected to one another. Uh, that we should depend upon one another, that a good church has is made up of a congregation of people that love each other more than they love themselves, um, love each other in the church more than they even love those in the world. They are they are family with one another. They are brothers and sisters. Uh, they have the same spiritual father. They are intent to to encourage one another and to um, disciple one another and to serve one another and to to love one another and to treat each other well. That's why we like to call the church a sanctuary, because it, it should be a place of refuge, a place of protection. Um, we go to the world, we get beat up in the world because we're Christians, but we come to the church and we don't drop each other uh, down because of friendly fire, but we are there to encourage each other because we are connected to one another uh, through Christ. Number three is um, as the body receives instruction, from the brain, you know, you, you cut off the head, the whole body dies. Uh, you need a brain to function. We must also be connected to our head. And again, many churches really run into a lot of problems when they disconnect themselves unwittingly from Jesus Christ. A good church is submissive to Jesus as Lord. Uh, we're intent to do what he says. Uh, when we set up our philosophy and our doctrinal statements and when we teach, we make sure we do it always according to the Word of God because God is speaking to us through His Word. It's important that we are submissive to Christ and acknowledge Jesus as the ultimate pastor of the church, the ultimate owner of the church, uh, the ultimate shepherd of the church. And then lastly, number four, uh, we must be unified in diversity. Uh, the human body has many different body parts. Every body part uh, might not receive the same attention, but every body part is important. And the same applies to the church. We celebrate a church with ethnic diversity. We celebrate a church with a diversity in a variety of gifts and talents and interests in that sense. Um, we all come together with our diversity as we seek not to be cookie cutters of each other. Um, we don't seek to um, be uniform with each other, but rather we seek unity amongst the diversity. And that shows something that no other institution has ever been able to pull off, that we can take all this diversity, celebrate that diversity, but only celebrate it in as much as it brings us together to promote our unity and our oneness in Christ. That's our goal, to be different, to work together as a body does with different body parts, but yet to see those body parts work toward one goal, one mission to serve one Lord according to one playbook, which is the Bible. That's the mark, the Bible says, of a good church. May our churches individually be unified as we seek to serve our mighty Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.